I'm gonna ride a bull. You did better than I did. Yes, Hey, I'm Anthony. Hi, I'm Shakira. And we're best friends in search of the roads less traveled. As we make our way across California. We are in search of the campiest, the campiest that this great state has to offer. Next up. Now we're going to check out the pop culture of California's Central Valley. I'm Anthony. I'm Cindy. Cindy, it's a pleasure. Hi, Hi I'm Kurt. Shakira. Hi. Cindy, nice to meet you. Got a wonderful place here. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for having us. All these pennies. How about how many pennies would you say are? In the bar alone, there's over a million. A That's million. not including what's outside and out front. Do you have the oldest penny anywhere? Yes. Anywhere. <laughs> it <laughs> is. Right here, right in front of us. All right, where'd it go? Right there. Oh, here. whoa. It's an 1883 Indian pen. 1883. 1883 Indian man. Can we put a dollar up on this? You can sign a dollar and I can put it up. That would be amazing. Yay! Hold on, I gotta, I wanna underline mine too. Our mark in history. Where are we gonna put You're this gonna put little it? guy? Welcome, this is Casa de Fruta, started by my grandfather and his two brothers. First orchards were planted in 1908, 111 years ago. We've got a deli, we do the wine tasting. Have you guys had our wine? No, you can't just, yeah, you throw, just, it just throw it back. Yeah, you just throw it back, don't you? No. Oh. God, what have you... some culture. <laughs> what do you do? You swirl it around, you get the stems, and then you have the aroma come up, waft to your nose, you smell it. And then you take one sip first and then you wash it around the mouth. Just a small sip. Washes your palate so you can further taste it. And then you taste another sip. It's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Be careful, it's hot. Ah! Ah! It's moist. It's a little purse for your cheese. I'd like to welcome you to the Forestier Underground Gardens. And it was my great uncle, Baldassar Forestier, who built this fantastic underground retreat from 1906 to 1946. Baldassar, he came to Fresno, found himself 80 acres. He bought it for $80. And this area was massively underdeveloped. There was nothing out here. So he was thinking, I'm gonna have this huge citrus empire. It's gonna be perfect. Yeah. Uh, so springtime rolls around. He's got a little shack on his property. He's ready to start digging. Um, he gets about two feet into that soil and he hits hard, just solid rock. He started to think about the subway tunnels in Boston. 
Um, also in Italy, lots of catacombs, wine cellars are all a little bit underground to get that natural coolness. Right. Um, so he just decides, I'm gonna dig out a little cellar room and I'm gonna move my bed downstairs and I'm just gonna sleep where it's a little bit cooler. He says, you know what? I think I'm gonna make myself a little house down here. So we're gonna cover about two and a half acres of his rooms, his courtyards, his passageways. And as you go through, you're going to see how he started almost a little bit crudely, but then as his skills got better for working on this, it became more beautiful. But seriously, thanks for coming out and seeing us. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Us. Absolutely. We'll give you a hug. Uh, please oh, do. Can we do a group hug? Oh, we can Let's do a group, group hug. hug. All right. <laughs>